time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. One month after the historic floods, hundreds of Southern New Englanders are still out of their homes, including a Cranston family we've been following since flood water swamped their house. Although the rebuilding process is well underway, this family is facing obstacles they never thought they would. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Week after week, we've checked in with this Cranston family, and we've really seen them go through every emotion from anger to grief to even peace. Now, today, we were there as another huge step of their rebuilding process moved forward. This is one of the, you know, one of the good things that happened is yeah. I'll have all new plumbing. Today, it's new plumbing. Oh, wow. And new insulation. Together, Bill and Stacy Prisco are rebuilding their home from the ground up. It's a huge process. It's been tedious. But yes, every day you see a little progress. It's mm -hmm. gonna every day, it yes. Good. Every day is a, is a step. Baby steps. <laughs> Eyewitness News was at the Prisco's home four weeks ago when floodwaters had completely ransacked their home. They lost everything. Damage is estimated at over $100,000. They have flood insurance, registered with FEMA, got approved for a federal SBA loan, but to date, haven't received a dime. So thank God for family, is all I can say. It really makes you appreciate them a little bit more. As if the Priscos don't have enough to deal with with just rebuilding their home, now they face a whole new set of problems. It's the reason why there are padlocks on every door now. Somebody came by, we had um, cop, all the copper wiring that had been removed, um, and they had gone right in the backyard and stolen it. So now, instead of spending valuable time rebuilding their home, Stacy and Bill had to take time out today to secure their home with locks. One more thing for you to have to deal with. Yes, one more. Even though their house is down to the studs and a long way from move-in condition, homesickness for this family is setting in. We're okay when we're here, even though it's a mess. Mm -hmm. And I keep cleaning it. It's oh, we're here, yeah. but when we have to leave, it's still it's still just as hard as the first day the flood happened. Mm -hmm. It's just not any easier in that aspect. The Prisco say the daily frustration on just trying to get any answers about when they're going to get some funding is just so frustrating. They've been in constant contact with FEMA and with their flood insurance. Their patience is running thin. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.